What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day 15 of the Titan program. We have an upper body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into our warm up and then we'll jump into it. Oh, speaking of which, we got someone jumping in now. All right, we got a three minute AMRAP warm up of five prone overhead reaches. We got, uh, I've written a comment here. Five prone overhead reaches, five push ups, and five internal external rotation. So we're going to be on our belly, hands off the ground, five reps, reaching overhead, shoulder blades back and together. Then we're going to go five push-ups and then we're going to do five internal external reaches. Three minutes on the clock team. Let's get nice and loose and then we'll get into this upper body workout. 10 seconds team. Five prone reaches. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades back and together, hands off the ground. One. Work. Pull those elbows down as low as you can. Five, five push-ups. And then five internal, external red reaches. guys take your time it's just a warm-up we're not trying to wear anything out First circuit up. We got incline dumbbell upright rows. So we're doing that on an incline bench set very high. And one arm dumbbell rows with an elbow flared grip. So grab your bench. I'm gonna roll that out. <clears throat> we're gonna put it on a high incline about here and we're gonna do an upright row. Max reps on the first set. So, you're gonna lean your chest against the bench, pull high, nice and slow back down. If you, our rep range is eight to 12 reps. If you hit 12 reps or 11 last week, you're gonna increase your weight. I hit 12 with 30, so I'm going up to 35 this week. Max reps, mile match the second rep, second set. So we can take little breaks to get that, those reps again. And then we go into one arm dumbbell rows. 
Max reps again, same concept, eight to 12. This time our palm is facing back towards our, the wall behind us. Our elbow is flaring out wide, big stretch at the bottom. So elbows coming out up here. I got 60 pounds with 11 last week. So I can go up as well. I'm gonna go up to 65. Again, we got max reps on the first set. Beating your weight from last week if you hit 11 or 12 or beating the reps if you didn't get 11 or 12. And then we got a drop set on the third set. Any questions, team? We got a minute for each movement. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. I'm going 35s on my upright rows, max reps. Let's do it, team. Friday, three, two, one, and work. Upright rows, eight to 12 is our target. Big stretch at the bottom, control that descent. So even better. All right, now we got one arm dumbbell rows. Elbows flare. Drop your bench flat. 20 seconds, team. Wide, big stretch at the bottom with that shoulder blade. Stretch out. Got to beat your reps or weight from last week. In seven, three. One, and work team, come on. on the other arm. I got 10 reps at 65. We got three 20 seconds rest between arms team. Match your reps from the right arm on the left. You should really feel this in the upper back, rear delts. That elbow flaring wide up here is what, how we change what we're targeting. We got three, two, one, and work. Big stretch. Seconds, and we got a one minute rest. And we're back to the top. Seven. All right, we got our mile match set now. So we take the reps and the weight that we got in the first set, and we got to match it. But we can make, we can take little breaks to hit those numbers. So 
I got 12 in the upright rows. I might do 10 and two. And by little rest, I mean like a five to eight second rest. Just enough to recover to finish out. So quality is really important and those little breaks allow you to maintain the quality, but still hit the same number of reps with the same number of weight. We're going in 23 seconds, team. Another set of the upright rows. Picking up, get ready. You wanna feel this in your shoulders, your traps. 10. You can also do this standing up if you don't have a bench that you can do this on. Two, one, straddle. Hold. seconds to finish and we got a 20 second rest three one all right 20 seconds team left arm and then we're into our final set the drop set You're done. We got our final set. This is our drop set. So, for this, you're gonna hit your failure point. We're not getting the total number of reps. That shouldn't happen. So for me, it might be seven or eight reps on the rows. It might be nine or 10 reps on the upright rows, and then we're immediately gonna drop to a lighter weight and do a max out set. So just as quick as you can get the different weights changing or picking up, you're gonna move to it and burn out. 
There's a fourth column in the app to track the drop set. We got 30 seconds, team, let's do it. Final set. I'm gonna hang a stretch for a second. Go to shoulders and back. We got 20 seconds. Ten. Come on. A bright road. Three, two, one. Let's work. Stretches at the bottom. seconds. Last set. Left arm. In eight. Three. One. And work. circuit up. We got bench dips or regular dips and dumbbell shrugs. So if you're using a bench and you don't have dip bars, you're going to set up back close to the bench. Leg straight is harder, knees bent easier. You can also hold the dumbbell between your legs to make it harder. 
Going down as low as you can, pausing for a second at the bottom, locking out. We're going max reps and we have a drop set on the third set. If you have dip bars, you can use those as well. I got some portable dip bars that I use. Or you can use the assisted dip machine if you're in a gym. Same concept. Here, we're going as low as we can with a nice slow descent. A little pause at the bottom, drive. For me, my knees hit the ground on this. So that's as low as I can go. If I could go a little lower, I would. Eight to 10 to 15 is our rep range here. So it's a little higher. So for me, last week on my dips, I did a 40 pound dumbbell between my legs and I got 13. So that means I'm gonna stay with uh, 40 pounds and I'm gonna try to beat 13 reps. Then we got dumbbell shrugs. So we're just taking two dumbbells. Again, 10 to 15 is our rep range. So based on what you did last week, you go up or down. Dumbbells are on the front of your legs. You lean forward a little bit, shrug up towards the ceiling, squeeze nice and slow down and feel a big stretch. Let those dumbbells pull on your shoulders. Any questions, see them. Max reps on everything on the first set. We do a mile match on the second set. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go 40 on the dip and 60 on the shrugs because I only got 13 on each of those. I'm gonna use a dip belt for my dumbbell uh, dips, but you can just hold it between your legs. The dip belt just makes it a little bit comfortable or more comfortable if you're using bigger weights. Any questions, team? We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Shit, I gotta beat 13. It's gonna be fun. Again, if you're not using a belt, you just squeeze it between your legs. Put the handle there. We're going in three, two, one. And work, team. Come on. Do it. with 40 I beat last week by two reps that's all it takes team that'll be an extra six sets six reps well not because the third set's a drop set but that'll be more reps than last week and that's what it takes to grow and get stronger I'm going shrugs with 60s I had to beat 13 two and work come on Stretch, squeeze. And we got a one minute rest. Oh. Track 15 with 60. All right, team, this is our mile match set. So, same reps and weight as the first set, but you can take little breaks. Five to eight seconds. I'm definitely gonna need it on the dips. The shrugs, I'll just stand up with for a second. Kind of recover.
get to those 15 dips is gonna be rough. I'm gonna try to go 10 and five. This is my mental goal. Oh. Let's do it, team. Come on, dumbbell. Eight seconds. Come on. Three. And work, team. Come on. Lock in. drop set. I'm going to go from, uh, I'm going to go from uh, 40 pounds on a dip to body weight and just burn out. On the shrugs, I'm going to go from 60 to 40. Try to switch out as fast as you can. Take as little rest between the drop as you can. Walk it off. 30 seconds, team. Final set is your best set. To look just like the reps from the first set. Slow tempo, pauses at the bottom, big stretches. Woo. Pecs are getting tight. We got eight seconds. Oh, let me get my dip weight. Three, one, let's go. Good set, and then drop weight, or go body weight. Shrugs. 
in 15. I'm going from 60s to 40 on my first uh, drop, first rest break. One, and work. Let's go. Up. We got dumbbell chest flies and a Y raise. We got 15 to 20 for rep range here, so higher reps. Again, if you got 19 or 20 on either of these movements last week, we're gonna go up in weight, max reps. I got under 20 for both of them, under 19. I got 17 with 25 pounds on the chest fly and 18 with 10 pounds. So. For the chest fly, a little different tweak. We're gonna come all the way down as low as you can. And then we're only gonna come up to here. You're gonna hit the bottom with the elbows bent. As you come up, elbows are locked out and you only come to this position. So think about like when you get to the bottom, you're almost just trying to bring your elbows, elbow pits to the ceiling. Lock out elbows and then back down in the deep stretch. Max reps, then that's, oh, so you're gonna be on your back for that. I should demo for anyone that's new. So I'm here, down, deep stretch as much as you can. Think about reaching the chest towards the ceiling at that bottom position and then squeezing up to here with the elbows locked out at the end. Then we're gonna put the bench on a slight incline. And we're gonna do Y raises. So our palms are gonna face each other and we're gonna come up into the Y position on our belly. So, it looks like this. With 10 pounds, you're gonna go light here. You're gonna keep your head neutral, squeeze up, and then nice and slow down. You really wanna feel this in your upper back and traps. Any questions, guys? We good? I'm going with 25s on the chest fly, 10s on the Y raise. We're going in 10 seconds, team. Get ready to work. Feel that stretch. Five, two, one, and work. I gotta be 18, or 17, I gotta be, sorry. Deep stretch, pause, drive up. If you go over the timer, don't worry. I'll give us some more time. No bouncing out of the bottom. This is especially important. Keep working. Come on. I can't. Oh. Woo. I'm gonna give him some extra time. It takes a while and you get up to the higher rep ranges. A minute's kinda not enough to do it. 
We're we'll working on the fly here, team. We're live. All right, Y raise is coming up. Max reps. I gotta be 18. In three, two, and work. Come on, don't worry, don't force it too high. This is very individual. on the chest fly. Still gotta go up next week though. All right. Another set coming up. Match your reps from the first set. Again, take a short break if you need to in there. This is a mild match set. I'll give us plenty of time if you go over. Don't worry. I'm probably gonna go over it too, so. I gotta match 19 reps, 25. Huh. In eight. Three, two, one. And work, come on. timer. Don't bring those dumbbells together. Come on. switching on that one yet. This is the drop set coming up next. This is our mile mat set still for the Y raises team. Let's get ready. Eight seconds. I gotta match 20. Three, one. Let's work. Keep the head neutral.
All right, team, rest a minute. Our drop set is coming up. I'm dropping from 25, I think the 15, uh, 25 to 15 on the chest fly. Yeah, I'm going from 10 to five on the uh, Y raises. Come on. Hang in there with me, team. We all know champions train on Fridays. Let's go. We got one more little circuit after this, one little super set of biceps and triceps. Let's finish strong. Drop set here. Hit that first failure point where your technique is just about to fall off. Drop to lighter weight and pump it out. Eight seconds, team. Two, one, and work. Come on. Reach the chest up. Continue on with a short mile rep. Mile set. Thumbs up. circuit of the day in the week. We got a dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Again, 15, 20 is our rep range. Single dumbbell. I'm gonna go with a 35. I only got 18 last week. Max reps, myo match on the second and a drop on the third. And then we're doing wide dumbbell curls. I only got 17, so I'm gonna stay with that weight. So, the overhead tricep extension. You're gonna hold the dumbbell on the edge Thumbs around the front, get as low as you can. Try to let the elbows flare out. Pause at the bottom, squeeze up, lock out those elbows, slow. We're trying to pause at the bottom so we can really initiate with the triceps from that dead stop position. We don't want to bounce off our elbow joints. Then we're going wide dumbbell curls. So you're gonna flare your hands out, tuck the elbows into your side, curl up, nice and slow down, full extension. 
Max reps on both. And then we myo match. I'm going 35 and 20. We're going to 15 second team. I got to beat uh, 18 reps on the tricep extension. Ooh, fun. Come on. Four, three, one. And work, team. No rest breaks on this one. This first set is straight through. That's the goal. Pause, drop. Slow. Fight through that burn. Come on. Come on. Woo. I got 20. Oh, I'm gonna regret that. Two more than last week. Ooh. 20 with 35 pounds. Track it. Now we go curls, wide dumbbell curls. I gotta beat 17 with 20s. Three, one, and work. Come on, elbows pointed out, curl. Nice and slow down, full extension. We got 40 seconds. These feel harder when your biceps are all pumped up too. Oh. Twenty-four seconds. I gotta get 20 overhead tricep extensions now to match. 35. We're going in 10 team. If you go over the timer, don't worry about it. I'll give us some extra time. One, and work. Come on. Nice and slow, same exact style of rep. Don't cheat yourself. That's all you're doing. Woo! 
Get an extra rest here, a little extra rest team. I'm gonna hang for a second. Oh. I gotta get 19 curls the match. And 10. Four. One. Let's work. Come on. I'm going for 10 and 9. It's for 12 and. Let's see how I get, actually. Seven more for me. <laughs> Keep working, team. If you are. <sighs> oh. Woo! All right, we got our drop set. I'm dropping from 35 to 20 on the overhead tricep, and I'm gonna drop from 20 to 10 on the curls. Oh. Thirty seconds, team. Hit your first break point. Drop that lighter weight as quick as you can, and get that burn. We're here for the pain, guys. Don't avoid it. 12 seconds. Come on. Seven. Overhead triceps. Three, two, one. Slow, deep stretch. Push with the triceps. Seven. Oh. Ten seconds, team. We got curls. Drop set. Get what you can with perfect form. And then immediately drop. No swinging. All biceps doing the work. All you think about is, all right, let that muscle Bend the elbow. Stretch at the bottom. Tens. This is where it just feels silly, but it hurts.
Whew. All right, team, great job. Another week down, three weeks to go. Enjoy your weekend, recover, get out for some nice walks, do a little cardio, get a little something outside, do something fun. I will see you on Monday for another full body work, or another upper body workout. Thanks again, guys. Have an awesome weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye.